Hey guys, welcome to our channel. In today's video, we are going to fix WordPress technical difficulties error or just the white screen. So as you can see, whenever I'm going to refresh this page, I won't see any content whatsoever, only white screen. Some of you guys may see a technical difficulties error, but nevertheless, whether you see a white screen or an error message, both of them is the same issue and we are going to fix it. Plugins for WP. WordPress premium plugins and themes for an affordable price. So both the error message or the white screen can happen by two main reasons, whether you updated a theme or a plugin, or you just enter a function into the functions.php file that caused it. Whatever the reason may be, in any case, you will need to access your website through the C panel or control panel. In our blog post, you have the link in the description down below. I left you links to the most popular hosting companies where you can find out how to access the control panel and then choose file manager from inside the file manager everything is identical all the file managers of the hosting companies are the same just follow this tutorial all right so here on the left side look for your website name click on it and then go into wp-content here you will have the plugins and the themes folder let's start by fixing the theme because I purposely made the theme to create the error. So we'll go into the themes folder and here you have a list of all the themes that you have installed on your WordPress website. In our example, the active theme is Hello Elementor. And let's say the problem happened after updating the theme. It's a good time to revert back to the old version and make the website working again and then troubleshooting what happened with the team or maybe change to a different team. So how do we revert and go back to the previous version of the team? That way, go to WordPress team repository. You can find the link in the written blog post. You have the link in the description down below. And here look for your desired team. You can search for it, but because Hello Elementor is pretty popular, I can see it here in the front page. So I'm just going to click on it. Now here, right click on the download button and click copy link address. Now scroll all the way to the bottom and click on development log. Here on the right, you will have a list of all the available versions of the theme. What I want you to do is to paste the link that we just copied a second ago in your browser window. And right now it will download the latest version of the theme. But because we don't want the latest version, we will change the version number from 230 to maybe 221 to download a previous version. Click enter and then you will see that the download started and you can see it on the left bottom side. Great, so we can close it now. Go back to our C panel while we are still in the themes folder. We will click on the upload button at the top. Here we will choose the zip file of the theme that we just downloaded. Wait for it to finish. Then refresh our C panel. And we can see the zip file here at the bottom. We will right click on it and then we'll choose extract. Then extract files and then close. Excellent. Now we can go back to our website, refresh the page, and we can see that our website is up and running again, which is excellent. Of course, we can go back to our WordPress dashboard, try to re-update the team again if you want to take the risk, or just wait for uh, further updates or maybe even switch a team uh, completely. So it's up to you, but right now the website is up and running, which is great. Now we can go back to our file manager into the themes folder and of course delete the zip file that we just uploaded a second ago okay so now i'm going to show you how to solve the same problem if the problem caused by plugins so let's say you update your plugins and suddenly you see a white screen and of course check the theme and if it's not that it must be the plugins therefore go to the c panel of your wordpress website click up one level to exit the themes folder and here you can see the plugins folder. What I want you to do is just to right click on the plugins folder, choose rename, and just add the text disable in capital letters to the end of the plugins folder name, just like so. Go back to your WordPress website, 
refresh the page and you will see that the website is up and running now you will need to go back to the dashboard okay into plugins and then install plugins you will need to load this screen at least once and because we added the disable word to the plugins folder it doesn't show you any plugins at all and now go back to the cpanel and rename the plugins folder one more time just delete the disable word that we added a second ago and now refresh the install plugins screen you will see that all the plugins came back but they are inactive to find which plugin caused the problem, we will need to activate the plugins one by one until we see the white screen or the error again. So let's start with Akismet, we'll click on activate so we can move forward to BBPress, we'll click on activate. We can see that the plugin was activated successfully without any issues. Now we'll click uh, activate on Elementor and we can see a white screen. We found out the problematic plugin and Elementor caused our website to crash or to show us error message or white screen. To fix that, we can just delete the Elementor folder from our plugins folder or we can download a previous version of Elementor and install it and upload it to our website as we did with the teens. So go to the written blog post. You can find the WordPress plugin repository in the link over there. And here we will look for Elementor. From inside the plugins page, we will scroll down and click on the advanced view from the right side. Here we will scroll all the way to the bottom and here we will choose from inside the drop down menu an older version of the plugin. For example, I'm going to choose 2.9.12 and click on download. Excellent. Now I will go back to our cPanel into the plugins folder and I will click on upload and then I will upload the zip file of Elementor that we just downloaded a second ago, right? After the upload has been completed, I can click on reload over here and I can see the zip file all the way at the bottom. I'm going to right click on it and choose extract. Great, so the Elementor files were overridden by the previous Elementor files and now when I will refresh our WordPress page, I can see that it's working good and Elementor is active and can be used again, as you can see over here. Now feel free to activate all the other plugins you have on your website and you can also delete the Elementor zip file that we uploaded to your control panel.